Google's algorithm is bleep, bleep, bleep. Please, no, no! Guess what that means? Me and you can look behind the scenes to see if the things we really think about SEO are true and has Google always really been telling the truth? Oh no, 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 no. All right, let's first start with Google's myths or has Google always been telling the truth? First of all, do websites have a spam score? Well, if we look at this quote from John Bu, we can see he says Google has no such a thing. Let's check out what the API and the documents say. As you can see, there's clearly some type of spam score or way that Google is labeling sites so that they can mark these sites with some type of spam score. Second thing, does user experience really matter for SEO? Well, there was always a big question in the room, but why would they create a web browser? And not only a web browser, but the most popular web browser in the world. What we can see from this leak that Google is measuring engagement time and other things that are involved with the user experience and contributing that toward your overall SEO score on your website. This has totally been debunked as we've heard in the past that Google doesn't have any intentions of tracking anything on the website as far as how people are engaging with your website, so on and so forth. Just think about this logically though, from a search engine standpoint, for Google to make their search engine better to measure the interactions that a person has when they click through your search engine to go to that website. Of course it would, it's a great and bold move, but we see that Google hasn't really been telling the full truth on this one. The third thing, that Google doesn't have an internal site authority metric. Again, John Mu said, we don't have a notion of page authority. Well, this has been debunked as we can clearly see in the release documents that there is some type of page authority going on. So from a logical perspective, does it make sense for Google to have something like this? Of course it does. It's just great for us to finally have the confirmation as digital marketers and SEO providers that it truly is a part of the algorithm. Number four, this is a huge one that has had so many SEOers arguing back and forth is there really a sandbox? And I'm not talking about the one that you play in with your kids. Is there a sandbox for newly released websites that basically is a box that Google puts your website in for a certain period of time and then once they find that site to be safe, they pull it out and they scan the site and start recording information about it for their search engine. Again, we look in the documents and we clearly find there is some type of sandbox. This is great because we can communicate now as digital marketers to our clients about this and not only we know it for a fact. Number five, do human quality raters really flag websites? This has been quoted many times and times again that people do not physically flag websites. But in the leak, it's clear to see they definitely do. And what does this mean? It means simply this, that if Google doesn't agree or they have some problem with your website, they can mark it manually so that it doesn't show up in their search engine. Now I wanna go over some of the good things we can pull from Google's algorithm leak. Starting with number one, topical authority. It is a real thing we can see from the leak in the code that there is some type of topical authority coming into play when they are ranking these websites. Second thing, AI content really useful or help at all. We can see from this piece of code here, golden type colon boolean and going down the list, flag of indicating that the document is a gold dash standard document. This can be used for putting additional weight on human labeled documents in contrast to automatically labeled annotations. What does this mean? The attribute notes and indicates it gives extra weight to human written content over AI written content. Why is this important and why does it help? Because there's been a big elephant in the room is AI content going to not be punished in the long run? And can I use it on my website? And guess what? That's a big yes, as long as that content is people focused first, whatever that means, but also is not just purely unhelpful 
to the user. This next one is about backlinks. And we're gonna look at the code here that was linked and it's link weight bracket type colon number bracket bracket and I'll skip the rest of it. But the link weight indicates a scoring system of a link strength in the ranking and page rank is a score considering various factors links being a significant part of it and finally penguin penalty and this is a clarity that penguin penalty is still grading link anchor text so do backlinks have any effect on websites and even though google's trying to continually downplay that they do or that they have had a big effect yes they do and this is a great another confirmation all right this is my google news update on their algorithm and i hope that you've enjoyed please like and subscribe i don't want to beg you much more but i will please like and subscribe and it would definitely help the channel in a lot of ways so have a great weekend and i hope that this helps you as a digital marketer to grow and make seo easy for you see ya